Well, an award-winning London photographer who moved to Ukraine 18 months ago, believing trouble was heading the country's way, has documented the build-up to the current crisis through pictures. His book, Stop Tanks with Books, calls on the international community to urgently support Ukraine. And Mark Neville has been speaking to Michael McKenzie. I instantly fell in love with Ukraine, with their resilience, with their bravery, with the culture, with the food, with the architecture, with the design. Uh, just incredible place. And um, every time I had the opportunity to come back, I would take it, seize it, for work or for, to see friends. And then eventually I thought, what am I doing living in London when I could be living in Kiev, where my heart is? I woke up at uh, about six in the morning on Thursday to the sound of explosions and sirens in my home. We decided we just needed to leave. So we left in the evening for Lvov, where I am now. We drove 24 hours solid without break in order to, to get to Lvov in one piece. And um, yeah, totally uh, petrifying. Something like 2.5 million Ukrainians had already been displaced by the war since 2014. It's not diplomats and politicians and negotiators who change things, who change people's opinions, who make things happen. It's public opinion. And that is ruled by emotions. And what I'm trying to do with this book is touch people emotionally so they see a version of themselves in Ukrainians, in my portraits of Ukrainians. Of course, there's a good chance that I will lose my home, uh, my possessions. I live in Ukraine. My heart is in Ukraine. This is where I belong. You know, this is my home. These are my friends. These are my people. And uh, they are extremely resilient and they will not give up. They will not give up. You can have a 10 million Russian troops invade. This place will always remain Ukraine. Photographer Mark Neville there.